And tonight, I'm going to be speaking to someone that is renowned as Nigeria's richest traditional ruler, uh, and also by Forbes rated the third richest traditional ruler on the continent of Africa. Before I introduce our guest today, I want you to watch this video and I'll be right back. Please watch this video. <laughs> gentlemen, please welcome His Royal Majesty, Kaviesi Olugbo of Ugo. Kaviesi, good to see you, sir. Kaviesi, can you hear me, sir? I thank you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Thank you. That was the video from your 10 years coronation anniversary. Yeah, you're right. Was, uh, how has it been right. 10 years? How has it been 10 years leading the people of Ugo, sir? Well, they were happy with me, the people from Ugo. They were so, you know, I do have been well. Yeah, you know, grateful to God for my life. And also, yes, um, you know, grateful to God for my life because I'm really happy, 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 and elated. I feel, you know, I'm overwhelmed, you know, my job. So many you, you, you left a so, career in the private sector, a, a billionaire oil magnate, to become king mm -hmm. in a, a, a city in a remote area. Kabiasi, yeah. yeah. how, how has that experience been yeah. over the last 10 years to leave everything in town, everything in Lagos and Abuja to go and lead the people of Ugo? You know, Ugo is my yeah. town. Yes, sir. That's my town. I don't miss anything from Lagos and Bada because that is my yeah. hometown. Uh, what happened, Ugo? I left Ugo for Lagos and Ibada. So when wow. I came back, I was overwhelmed that wow. I came back by town, my native town, with you know everything. Yes, sir. everything in life. I was wow. so happy. I mean, my people were so happy with me. Also, we are wow. grateful to God. That this one of our boys that you know, I was a little boy then. I left for wow. Ibadan. 
and Lagos. And uh, wow. they are the ones that invite yeah. me. of that town. And then when they saw me coming, they were so happy with me, and I'm happy with them. Although, wow. uh, some life in Lagos is not Tinubu. One had to face the uh, reality. But the boy is my <laughs> town. So, 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 so are, are you trying to, are you trying to make Ubo like like, like like Lagos, so to say, are you making efforts to make sure that everything in the bigger cities like Lagos and Ibadan, that people can come to Ubo and have a golf course and have um, a lot of development? Now, I've made Ubo like Lagos. I've Lagos, I don't know. Do it. Wow. Yes, it was beautiful now. We have a lot of houses, a lot of businesses. So many, you know, business people in the world, they are coming to go to invest with me because of my, you know, uh, being a not by that, uh, you know, that uh, town. Because they read a lot of good things about me and uh, they heard about my achievement in the world. And that's why it tells them to say, I'm coming to go to celebrate with the Oruko of you. And I'm happy about not to see the, the people that are with me, in that my 10th year anniversary. Yes. Uh, yeah, a lot of people will obey because I invite big, two big musicians in the country. Obey yes. Ebenezer and Sonia Day. And Sonia Day, yes, Sonia Day. yes sir. Yeah. You know, I'm the first king to invite two of them, and we're happy. Wow. Wow. And I'm happy also. If you look at me there, I'm dancing. I'm laughing with my lorry and uh, yes. see the Maya, uh, Maya of Ipe. Yes, sir. The, the owner of the Dua and so many people. They are with me, celebrating with me. I was so happy. Yes. And I see. You know, I, I, you know, it's like uh, before my arrival as a king. Hmm. People has come to uh, some way. Which mm. I don't want to talk much about. But somebody called me, one of my friends said, I removed Ubo from the corner of the world mm. and I put it in the center of the world. Mm. You, you, you got the yes, and I removed Ubo from the corner and I moved it to the center of the world. Center. Yes, sir. That was exactly what happened. Yes, sir. Can you see if I may ask you? You're renowned to be the richest traditional ruler. In Africa, in Nigeria, and the third richest in Africa. Come here, say, so what are you doing to make sure that the people of Ubu also become the richest community in Nigeria and even in Africa? How are you complementing the work of the political class? Now, my dear Dio, my the second yes, richest, not third, second richest yes, in Oba in Africa, second, not third. Wow, apologies for that, sir. No tent, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's a uh, God gift. I just yes, want to cover that. That's why uh, I had to correct that, uh, you know, yes, uh, statement. Second, yes, sir. In Africa. And I'm saving it. And I'm living up to that. Yes, sir. That's a new position. Now, yes, what we are trying to do. Ubo was, uh, there's no road in Ubo. From uh, Ibokoda of Ufa to Ubo. It is when I came, arrived as a you know, king, because mm. I was invited. You know, those days, you cannot force yourself to say you want to be another. Yes. The people, the prince and princess and chief and valet have to invite you. Come and be. Yes. That was exactly what happened to me. And I mm. agreed. And even told them there that when you want me to be your offer, you have to go and write a, an agreement, sign it from the court of law. Wow. So I can show it to my children that you are the one that invited me home. And they did. Mm. Mm. They, that's what uh, made me happy up to tomorrow. 
Now, mm -hmm. I turn over to, you know, another London or US, not even Lagos. Mm. Is that you? <laughs> you heard me? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning to London or US. If you come to mm. you, you know, you will testify to what I'm trying to. I know, and, uh, it's costly to tell you now. Because, uh, you know, we don't have, uh, not that I'm trying to do my uh, domain. There's no yes. house which can mm. accommodate people that come from Lagos or Lo uh, London or US. If you heard mm. what Sonia had said now, it's time for song. Yes, it's saying, let's call them. Let's call them. Let's call them. Color, yes, sir. <laughs> That's my palace. Mm. In Africa today, I have the best palace. The best. Got there, I have uh, 25 bedroom, 46 room. Standard to any president in the world mm. or king in the world, I can accommodate them. Mm. I need not to take them to a hotel. Mm. So that is my uh, 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 palace. And that was yes, what only had this. He lay come there. What do I do? Go call up that me. So, not only yes. that, when I arrived there, I changed a lot of life. Hmm. For instance, before I came in as a monarch, they were wearing the war a lot, some of the clothes which is not acceptable to wealthy Yoruba because they didn't know. When I said, no, 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 you can't wear this clothes. This is uh, mm -hmm. an uh, native, I will do the clothes. This is what mm -hmm. I want you to wear. You have had, I buy that 1,500. 500. You know what I mean? <laughs> they said, okay, we'll turn to our king. We didn't know that uh, this is how it happened. And mm -hmm. they agree with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did one thing. Why you were so prominent in the war? Mm -hmm. I make sure that uh, some of my team, they are retired permanent secretary, head of mm -hmm. service. Yes. So public sector engagement, yeah. experts. Yeah, the were experts. I, you know, I, you know, installed them as well, but they, they are very happy. Even if they're mm -hmm. not around, mm -hmm. they will, any team that comes to me, they will treat it as if I'm around. Mm -hmm. Mm. So that was what you know, uh, I adopted when I come to because I discovered that I have a lot of people, experienced people who help me. Mm. That's why you see people now we are moving every day. So, mm. so many things like that. Some of the Mr. Men, what I did was uh, that uh, mm. Bobo, take money to go and you know, buy you know, next and some other things. And some of their son mm. and daughter was given scholarship to the mm. secondary school, to university. So some of them are paid you that today. I paid mm. them because uh, in any country or, or town, if there's no good education, you cannot move. It's bedrock yeah. of a, 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 a town or a community. That's my belief. So people were so happy that ah, this man, you are very kind. You want our children to be, you know, to develop. You are paying for that school mm -hmm. You are paying for this. You are paying for that. And that's why mm -hmm. you see that people is coming up now. People mm -hmm. are celebrating us. Well, for instance, uh, the NTA they came to us. Our ancestors, they came to our ancestral town for documentary. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's international. Very yes. soon now, I'm expecting the BBC from London. They saw it. Mm. They, they came to that program. So a lot of progress are coming. Not only that, a lot of houses, then are new houses, a lot of projects, a lot of industry, and so on and so forth. I brought them mm. there. Before mm. I have now talked to US, not even London again. Mm. Mm. And uh, the state government, is, they were bringing the largest mm. are you hearing me? 
I can hear you clearly, sir. Uh, Deep sea port. To that, that, yeah, that will change a lot of things in Ugolan. Ugolan is going to turn to America again because no, not even London, not Lagos, the your Lagos. We are going to turn to the US. So everybody, <laughs> all the Come people here. from Nigeria they are coming there hmm. to to buy land. You know, land belongs to monarch. Yes, the land are supposed yes. to sell like uh, five million. It could be two hundred million. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm waiting to do now. Not only really <laughs> that, we have bitumen in our mm -hmm. place. Uh, the bitumen yes. is coming up now. That for a lot of, you know, uh, the, the, you know, people from America, they were fighting to come and be a partner. With some wow. of the road, even the, the governor we have now is doing very well. Mm -hmm. Is mm. facing that area because of me. Do a lot of new new projects there. That's why we see that we are comparing for him that he has come come in second time. The wow. governor. So a lot of new yes, projects sir. are coming up from there. That people who are going to enjoy me. I will invite you. <laughs> I'm going to invite you to come and take this thing. I, and that I, is in my area, in my place. <laughs> And I'll, yes, I'll sell that with a dividend price for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Come, come here, see. Um, philanthropy <laughs> is really important for development. How are you also um, adopting philanthropy to yes. complement the good work that you're doing? Uh, in, in a global scale, in a national scale, uh, as one of the most influential traditional leaders on the continent, and also across the globe. Um, are, are you exploring philanthropy? Uh, is a, philanthropy is a bedrock of development. And it, yes. what I'm trying to explain to you now is I'm doing part of philanthropy. I'm not doing yes. it for Eli to Nigeria, no. To everybody. Yes. Everybody that needs help all over the world, some of us. Some of our boys, some of our ladies were in London, US. I help them. Not only yeah. like that, look. Anybody that needs help, when you come to me, I'll help you. Although I'm not yeah. the government, but I will do yeah. the one I should do. Well, uh, like, do you sure have that a that I satisfy you, you, you in a little way? Yes, sir. Do, do you have a foundation that is institutionalizing your your work yeah um, what i'm saying that is is to say that the great work that you're doing like many other traditional leaders um we see them as activators that must live beyond the great work that you're doing but let me that should lead me to my next question kabiesi kabiesi what do you think the role of the traditional leaders should be in this modern age you know, things have changed, sir. What should be the role of traditional uh, leaders in this modern age? Now, this is a very brilliant question. Because some of the questions I was expecting from you before the role of, uh, you know, uh, traditional ruler, you have never, you know, you never asked, maybe you reserved it. Yes, I Where reserved my it. Position yes, sir. Is uh, you, you, so that that was supposed to go first. <laughs> oh, okay, Kamesi. Okay, Kamesi, uh, I, I think where I actually to want to start my position. Okay, where, where I want to even start from, as regards that, is what is the history of the Olubos? What is the title? People know a lot of many of the other crowns, but they don't know the history. What is the history? Where did it derive from? What were the roles of the former Olubos? Who were the former Olubos that sat on that throne before? What were the significant contributions that they made, sir, that you are now building upon? Please take us through history, sir. I, I think uh, the network, please bear with us. I'm sure KBS is there. I don't know if it's my network. Um, 
Guys, can you see me or can you see Baba? I want to know where the network challenge is. I don't know if it's from me or if it's from KBSC. Please let me know, guys. Can you see me? Can you see KBSC? I don't know where the challenge is. I don't know if the challenge is from my side. Okay, I think it's from KBSC's side. Please bear with us. Uh, KBSC has a bit of a network challenge, but will be uh, sorted out soon. I'm sure it's going to reconnect back. And uh, thank you so much for your time, for your data, and for tuning in to the conversation, and for joining us on on the on the conversation. Please bear with me. Um, I'm just waiting for KBT to reconnect and come back, so that we can continue the conversation. Um, okay, so from KBC, thank you, Mr. Kindono. Um, I think uh, the network, I'm sure Baba will come back now. My network is fine. Thank God today I don't have network challenge on like yesterday. So I'm waiting for KBC to come back so that we can continue the conversation and then we can uh, have a great time. I'm sure that very soon Nigeria's broadband internet would be unstoppable. Uh, please bear with us, bear with us guys. We'll be with you in a, in a jiffy. Just waiting for KBAC to, to to come back as we discuss. Oh, KBAC is back. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. Network. <laughs> KBAC, sir. Yes. Let's have some history I class. You, you, you are our teacher today, sir. Please yes. take us through history, yes. sir, of the crown of the Olubo stool. Yes. I, I, I am the owner of Yoruba, this Yoruba, because uh, Yoruba was the, what we describe as the Kedu, the Kedu of Yoruba. That's our language, the Laje, Nipe, before we left. Mm. We are in Ife. Mm. My great grandfather, the name was Oraipe, and he gave back to mm. Obama, Kotogogo, and so on and so forth. If the only two I mentors met my great grandfather at Ife. Hmm. And uh, hmm. this is my book. I will send this book to you. Yes, sir. This is my hmm. history. Yes, in mentors, I have a system community assisting in Ife before I left. Hmm. And so why did you people, people in leave Ife? You have seven quarters. Huh? Eh? Why come up again? Why, why, why did your people leave Ife? Were they chased out of Ife? Did they migrate from Ife? Did Odudua send them away? What was the relationship with Odudua? That's a bit. That's what that was a beautiful question. What happened before we left? Because Odudua and um, Abatala they fought when they fought. The Obama King was their leader, it's a warrior. Mm. <laughs> That's why the man got annoyed. Yes, All the warrior, mm. warrior, when they come to him, and he said mm. to the doer, What is your problem? When you came, we attracted you to the uh, kingdom. Okay. Why are you fighting this gentleman? That was what happened. The fight was so tough. Mm. Hello? Mm. I'm with you, sir. Yes, are you hearing me? The I can hear you clearly, sir. Very tough. Mm. Very good. So this is what, you know, the, all the warrior in Ife, the retreat mm. to Okimapu, Okimapu, Aga. Is mm. present to Kegbo now. Mm. Now, Igbo Ife was uh, it wasn't in Ife there. Igbo Moku, Igbo was Igbo mm. Moku when we were at Ife. Ife mm. was just a very small community. It is when we left, mm. they changed it to Ife. Everywhere in Ife was there, uh, Igbo Moku. And Hmm. 
All the market, the two markets, the market I see there to today, the two markets, one belong to Rife, or one belong to Bamaki or Sogogo. And we have mm. seven quarters in Ife up to tomorrow. And this seven quarters, if there's any problem in Ife, they are to bear God for the Ife. If they are to celebrate mm. any ritual, the seven quarter they will invite mm. them to come and talk, mm. to come and appeal to the ancestors. And the only ancestor they are mm. they, they knew at if it was Obama King, Osogogo, and the mm. rifle in Florida. Mm. Before we left Ife, a lot of things happened mm. when we are talking about We have uh, something we call can, 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 can I ask a question, sir? Can, can I ask a question, sir? So when you were in Ife, what was the royal structure in Ife when you were there? What was the royal structure there? Who was the leader? Who was the crown in Ife when the Ugos were in Ife? What was the now, traditional what leadership? The, The traditional, the, the traditional head is was uh, Obama or so ago. All that CC community, they have their crown. They, they, are, they have their crown, they have their albums. Hmm. Are you hearing me? But the leader yes, was sir, my very father. clearly, sir. Obama or so ago. Was my hmm. father. And we they have their own uh, way they organize everything in Ife before they are up the door. But the door would never, he has never worn any crown before he passed on. Mm. So I'm just telling you the history of Yoruba. A lot of people have yes, been misled. That's what, that's why I show you this book. If you read this book, you see so many things yes, that uh, they were they, they have, we have been misled. So I'm happy mm. that we, we are correcting history now. We are the owner. My great father, mm -hmm. great great grandfather was the owner of Ife. We are the authority. We control the system community. We are the aborigin mm -hmm. of uh, Yoruba. Great. Are you getting me? Are you hearing yes, me? Sir. We yes, sir. are the, ori yes. the yes, aborigin sir. of Yoruba. So yes. the Duma met the swamp palace we have at Ife then. We call the palace Ileru in Okeremo. That is why my father received with the doer. He mm. wouldn't have anything in it. They were just joking, talking and all that. Some of the people who are claiming it today, they are not from the doer, said that. They are just aborted. Are you getting me? Mm. They are aborted. They yes, don't sir. do anything about it. Yes. And if so, the doer had uh, seven children, Mm. Mm. So they know how to. I don't want to go, but they met my great grandfather, Tamato Sogogo, in Ife. And that's yes. what I'm saying to tomorrow. Yes. And can you see, when your, when your people then moved to Ugbo, mm -hmm. what were some of the exploits that happened yeah. there? Who was the mm -hmm. first king? Your, your great grandfather. Your ancestor mm. became king when you moved to Ondo State. And how many Olubos have we yeah. had since then, sir? The how many Olubos uh, have we had since then, sir? Let, 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 let me tell you how, where, the way you can understand it. Before we left, my great grandfather left seven of his sons. A reason. In Ife. And we still have seven quarters in Ife today. I want you to go to if you are go and try for these seven quarters in mm. Ife. That is why the ritual in Ife, without us, nobody can do it. If they want to appoint a new or new, sorry, they will come to us. There's one, uh, 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 there's a woman that has passed on. Because
Only a year more. The only I have to marry that for three. The question you, are you asked about me? We left it for what? We left on our own. Not that anybody mm -hmm. sent us away. We left on our own. And a lot of uh, book testify to that. In this authority book, there's one great, 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 great guy, Abi Oba in Bini, Manaba, mm -hmm. that passed on. Yes. He said the owner of Ife were all in this book. Mm -hmm. He has his own book. The, the title of the book is Aramisa Yobid and Sabbath, page mm. 209 and 10, where you look at it. Mm. It's the letter of a statement about the book. That the book are the owner. Mm. And uh, claiming that one alone is not sufficient for me. Somebody, mm. if I said, why can't I be claimed on? You you know that I'm the most serious but I want you to hear it that yes. because in this book when you read it you hear the comment of Balafi when he said Olubo your father is the owner of people before the arrival mm -hmm. of the doers in this book mm -hmm. it's in the internet it's in the Facebook 2012 so they they, they saw it a lot of people call me that uh, they were deceived. You know, they kept the story for them. But it is open now. That's yes. why I'm referring to that our quarters in several quarters. You know, Look, go there and find out. So my great grandfather was at the market, the two markets. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, all right, for the Ayubaju, you were in it there, belong to my great great grandfather. Died. Go and find out, you see this. You agree yes, with sir. me. So I'm the owner. Yes, my great great grandfather is the owner of Yoruba, not even yes, fellow. The Yoruba race. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, the Yoruba race. And, and I'm so moved. Nobody and this book and is about five years old. Between your great grandfather and yourself, how many Olubos have sat on the throne, sir? And what were some of their names? I live with we were many in it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I won't check that they were anywhere. But in Ugo, you know, those the Ugos that migrated from Ipe to Ugo. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I can hear yeah, you, sir. You. Yes. OK. So yeah, I, I, I that was the part I wanted, wanted to know. To Ugo. Wow. Mm -hmm. That but is a lot. That is a lot. Wow. Yeah, that is so that we are the owner of Europe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 120 <laughs> Olubo. Sir, can you, can you, for the sake of education for my generation, can you mention some of their names? For example, when you hear about the Oni, mm. you hear that one turned into an elephant, another turned into something. Can you mention some of the powerful Olubos that have existed? Mm. Yes, I'll mention a few to you now. Now, number one, yes, Oja Dele. Hmm. Let, let me start from the first Telugu. Uh, the Obama yes. King, it was called uh, Oroma King Nubu, because they can't pronounce it. Hmm. Hmm. Buwa. Buwa. Hmm. Opa. Oja hmm. I go to Jolubo. Oh, who? Hmm. Uh, they were like that. I've made better of a person. I've made better of a part. On my bomb, I can't see. Oh, look, I can't see. On my bomb, they were like that. So many of them. Wow, wow. So, uh, and, and, and come here, see, what do you want to do differently? 
what do you want to be known for as the during your reign as the current Olubo? Now, what I want you all to do if I read that here, I am the most senior over. I'm the most senior over in Yoruba race. That's what I'm yes, doing. sir. Yes, sir. The on your, I mean, Aboriginal fair, Aboriginal elite fair, and I'm the owner of FIFA. I'm the owner of Yoruba. Are you getting my point? That's what I'm, yes, sir. I'm what I want to do about me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, sir. Uh, yeah. Come and see, family. I also take some. They, they're not talking about the traditional leader, sir, and the government. They have stripping others of their power, and they are now under, largely under the local government chairman. What is your thought on this, sir? Yeah. Let, let me say one thing. You know this government in Nigeria, it was Awujo Awopa. We had one that started the government in Nigeria. And that yes. was exactly what uh, you know, British saw. That's true. Into their system. But uh, for what happened see, now, that, that's, that's where they yeah. call it Ijoba, Ijoba Lagbanda, Ijoba Logo. Ijoba. Okay, Ijoba. that makes Ijoba. sense. Yeah. Yes, okay. Oh. That's the middle of the government. They change it to oh. government now. And I'm sure yes. Yeah, and I'm sure the government yes, I will jump uh, you are mm. here the question. No, the thing will be corrected. What do I try to do? Like one interview, I uh, you know, I grant an granted an interview and I told you. Government that uh, they have to accommodate the job, I mean, the monarch. Because it's our, the it's our baby. The government is our baby. Yes. Mm. So they have to accommodate us. They have to put us in the system, constitutional rule for the other, like what they are doing in Ghana. You go to Ghana now, they have a monarch. Mm. The government. Both the states hmm. for now. We want it. And they will do it. Yes. They will do it for us. And we, when we are shouting, 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 they will listen to us. So they will listen to us one day. That's what I believe. Yes. That what they are doing, they will do our back. But sir, the, 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 the watering of the powers of the others, would you have said that it was the fault of the others themselves? That they allow their powers to be whittled down. How? How? So, How for example, <laughs> for example, some people have argued that the Obas themselves were totalitarians. One of the Yoba always say something like, uh, Abiyosi, but the people want a democracy. But the yeah. Obas are universal in their system. They don't accommodate the views of their citizens and their subject. That was one. Number two is the politicalization of the throne. When you begin to find traditional rulers that becomes partisan. Yes. Now, now, what the traditional are doing, if we don't do it, there's going to be chaos. Now, do we? We have to support government. There's no, no harm, nothing wrong about that. When you support a government that is that's what we are trying to do when we are fighting the massacre and so many things. We don't want it to happen in Nigeria. That's why you see us coming out if there's going to be a problem. You say, no, 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 no. You wait for this person to finish his eight years or four years, another person will come. That is the duty of all mm -hmm. the monarch. That's why I said. We have to be included in their constitution. We are doing it already. Yeah. And they knew that uh, we are with them. This is our country. We cannot leave the country to to run to you know chaos. No. You see, we, before the democracy, when the other yes. were in charge, 
No, but no fight, no quarrel, no, 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 no happened. The country, the country was so okay. So that's what we want them to. We are not taking power from them. Let them put us in position of, uh, you know, appears there. That's us. We are yes. their father. Hmm. We are the father of. Yes. yes. So, so what are your thoughts, sir? In addition to a, a potential constitutional amendment, how else can traditional leaders like yourself, in particular first class Oba, um, promote a level of influence? How do we restore influence of the traditional system into the democratic and political system? How do we fuse the two together? No, no, I've said I made mention of it that they have to we have to be involved. Give us constitutional right. Put us in yes. the M of affair of the state government and the federal government. But then things will be okay. Because what they didn't know, we will correct them. Hmm. That's how they need us. They still need us. They are taking advice from us. We are the hmm. grassroots. The grassroots. So we want them to make it officially. And put us in the name of our fear. That's all we want, man. Can you see one of the roles of the traditional leaders and the system is um, that of promoting the culture, but there's also a moral yeah. responsibility for the traditional leaders to promote values. Like you see, Okolo Pongoni Awo Omode Ati Awo Odo Tonsheti Oba. Ah, uh, how can you allow to go by Berola Rumu? How would the traditional leader and the traditional system help to promote the right values? Because in your days, sir, they always say it takes a village to raise a child, but today it's a whole different world entirely. Yeah, yeah. Eh, uh, Bobo, Koti, I'm sorry. What you are asking me now? Oh, you tell you to tell it. Yes, sir. But you do a little fool. You will tell it. You see, I'm more what I be at the age of five or six. No more potential in America. You are below internet. Well, I don't have a good guy. You go for no more. You got to work mathematics, only Latin work. Only laughing, Kapule, to be a follow, but you see, you know, so la duty, what? The idea and the Alati are set to like you, but for me, wait. <laughs> we can't forget our culture. I quite agree with you. We are trying to correct it because uh, we won't allow them to spoil our culture. We are yes. doing it. We are doing it. But I want to go to Togo. We will go to Togo at the bottom. Yes, sir. <laughs> we are trying to correct it. I want to correct. We are going to correct it. I agree with you. I want to sack one and see each other when you are two cellular. Tell them, see, bye bye, you're about to go. Oh, but the love is by you. Oh, the love. But you see, when I love, I don't have a bad body. And you're talking about a bad body. Oh, you can like to tell it. That was the time it was happening. I want, yeah, our children are civilized. You knew a lot of things about what? Wish your father did the fact that your father did not know. Because of this mm. uh, telephone new system, so you got to follow mm. you any. But that you are all mm. over the world, here. Yeah. It's all over the world. <laughs> she was got yes. to at you our country, bro. Yes, I want to to JT. I want to learn more cruelly. I want to learn more cruelly. Oh, but I'm going to see you. I learn more cruelly. Yeah, we go. At the better one. But you look me to what you pay to buy when you do your yeah yeah the wallet here ah ah very much no more wash it it's not happening in Nigeria. Can you see how how do religion and traditional system 
coexist. They always say I want to is she she, and I want to say. What is the mm. difference between both? And and you know where where is the? And but today, to the glory of God, we now have traditional rulers who are Christians, who are Muslims, yeah. and they they yeah. still have to do the traditional um, duties. So how do you first be a traditional leader and also have your own faith? Uh, 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 let, let me share one thing. As a Lugbo of Ugo, I am a Christian and I'm a prophet and I hold a wow. church. Wow. Are you hearing me? I hold a wow. church as a leader. The power of my church and also a prophet. Wow. So he has wow. to be traditional. Yes. In, uh, in my town, what do I try to do there is this. I will tell you, the traditional, they were doing their own. The Christian was doing their own. We didn't, uh, you know, interrupt ourselves. Yes. See you see, our the traditional, they were praying. They were praying for the town. Are you getting my mm -hmm. point, Dave? They were praying for yes, people sir. to come to the town. The Christian are praying for the town. They are, uh, the end to me. They are not uh, those days. You don't understand some of the things some of them are doing, but these days we knew what we are doing. So there's no who are going. Mm. But currently, there's no problem within the Christian and the tradition. Yes, so we are not but, in but, it. But, I, I, but as a traditional leader, you you have to balance all of it. How easy has that been for you in balancing both your faith as the Baba Ijo and also the Allah Shelori Orisha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened? Let me tell you that. That's a very brilliant question. <laughs> we have some people who are doing the ritual for us. Okay, we sir. do it, nobody will interrupt them. Yes. So if we come to the, you know, the, 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 for the Christian, people are there to do the Christianity. So, the, I, I love this Akis Ewa's question. You are just going I, I, I think, by person. Hmm. I think Kavius' internet is acting up. I'm sure you guys can still see me. So is I'm going to ask Kavius. See Akis Ewa. I'm going to ask Kavius your question. Kavius, yeah, there's a question you know, from there's a question from Akis Shewa. Akishewa says, but Kabiesi as a king, would you bow down for Orisha like Shongo and Osho? The question is from a lady called Akishewa. She is on the screen. Yes. I think Kabiesi's internet. Okay, all over the world. Yes. Yes, sir. Kamiesi, Akishewa says, but well, Kamiesi, as a king, would you bow down for Orisha like Shongo and Osho? No. No. I have people who are bowing down for them. The, the people who are doing it, they are in my domain. And I face my Christianity, I have nothing to do. Simultaneously, wow. we are running wow. it. Wow, I have, wow, I have, wow, I have, that's... I I <laughs> because you are Allah and they are new, they are new, they are new. Yeah, you know what happened? From aspect of my life, they knew I'm a Christian. Christian. Christianity is in my blood. Yes. You know that I just said? From aspect of my life. So nobody, yes. when I became your by start of the thing, I told them, look, Orisha, it's not my way of uh, worshiping. And they agreed. <laughs> and 
people are doing it for me, they are there doing it with joy. With joy. That's why the like was that. So they knew what I was doing from the outset of my life. So, yeah. Come, come and see. Do you? Uh, Come here, see, do you think that monarchy in Nigeria and in Africa would exist over the next hundred years, or will modernity erode monarchy? Nothing can erode monarchy in, the, in Africa. We are going to be civilization. For civilization. Yeah, by such we are the package. Their civilization when it came, we, we are going to remain forever. You know, be an upper. Let me tell you one thing. Some people are doing mistakes. Those days, if you are a slave, you can't be an upper. If you are from mm. the side of the family, you can't be an upper. If you have boys here, you can't be an upper. Mm. If you have a husband, mm. you can't be an upper. If you have a wow. nine finger, you cannot be a noble. If you're a Samara, you cannot be a noble. If your father mm. still, is still living, you cannot be a noble. Those days, for good, you know, we have everything. It's not yeah. all this, uh, you know, the when you go up at Manas, they don't know all this. You have to mm. be straightforward. If you are tall, you will tall, you will bend. So mm. many things like that. Qualification. So if you are four mm. or nine, you can't be, you can't appoint yourself. Mm. Mm. If you have mm. four eyes, you nobody will appoint mm. yourself. If you are looking in that door, where is your warrior? Are you here with that? Where is your warrior? Where is your warrior? Nobody. No more fair job. For me, good heritage. Not all this is fake. Mm. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Kabezi. Kabezi, can you explain to us your structure of Oba in Council? So if we say Olubo in Council, what is the structure of Olubo in Council? Now the structure, I'll tell you now. I have, um, you know, uh, Olubo at the head of any council. They are working for me. Mm. Any other person there will work under Olubo. Mm. The chief, the ballers, the town, and everybody. I think we're um, waiting for Kabe's network signal. Please bear with us. Baba will be back so that he can uh, he can conclude the conversation. It's a network challenge. Please do bear with us. Um, waiting for Kabe's network. I'm sure it will refresh, and then uh, we can continue the conversation. Um, please bear with us. Thank you so much. And uh, show that uh, we can take this conversation from here into um, a close very soon, as soon as KBC reconnects. Yeah, KBC's connection is a bit poor, but it's going to be back now. Please bear with uh, KBC, the Olubos. Uh, but I think it's been a great conversation so far. Okay, I think KBC is back. Okay. KBC, you were explaining to us the yes, Olubo in Council. Yes, sir. You were explaining the Olubo in Council to us. Yes. Yes. That the duty of Olubo in Council, very simple. They work for me. If I'm around, they will sit down, listen to the judgment, listen to advice. If I have not to run, perhaps they will do the same. Make sure that they, 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 they 
uh, make sure that uh, everything the town they will they it's will going on well. be misbehaved. They will correct them. Say no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is why I put a lot of experience, very responsible chief in my cabinet. Mm -hmm. Yes, almost eighty of them they were well educated. Hmm. Yes, so I didn't have any problem. So if I travel, where well, I could travel for one month, I can travel for two months. They knew what to do. Hmm. That is it. Uh, okay, sir. Can we see? Finally, there's a question from uh, Toye Christian Liu. She says, "Can we see? Oh, the history yeah. you told us may be very true." But my question is this, sir. Can a son leave his hometown to settle somewhere? Can he, from his place of settlement, claim to hold his father's house instead of those he left behind? I think this was about your conversation around now, the fact that you left. Let me share one thing. You know why we left? The lack I don't a lot of things behind it. I don't want to mention it. We yeah. This Now, Dio. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. before we left, tell to you. Yes, sir. She's listening. She's she's watching you, sir. Okay, so guys, please bear with us. Kabi is his internet. Leave it as down. a bit of a challenge. That yes, sir. you should go to a place very close to water. That uh, for everything. You We are going to be. I mean, if you see that I'm in your business, all the Yoruba land, tell that lady, all the Yoruba land, seven state, a business state we have. We are the only one who goes, the only one that has it. Uh, oil in a large quantity. Hmm. And that's why we left. And we are enjoying it. Even when I built my palace now, it's on the top of, uh, you know, good oil. Wow. And if you live, if you go to, if you go to it now, it's a barren land. They, they have to do. Do respect. Yes, sir. Come here, sir. I think your network is shaking, sir. Uh -oh. Guys, please bear with us. Come here, sir. You don't have anything more than that, Fabi. I told you, sir, you are never, I can never forget my father's house. So that's why we left seven quarters there. And they were there. Are you hearing me? Mm. We left them yes, there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The people are there claiming our right there. And you go. Where we have uh, oil. Crude oil land quantity. So we cannot get it yet. If it was a great grandfather asset to my great. This yes, trust to everybody in Nigeria, even to Ife. Because they are enjoying the crude oil. Mm, mm. That, they are enjoying the crude oil now for my domain. Mm, mm, and I want to mm. tell you, the, the five stage system we have in Nigeria, 
Yeah, we'll do, in, our, in, in the West, the old Western region, is the only Ubo that have uh, uh, food oil in a large quantity that is feeding the nation, not wow. the only on the state alone. Wow. Yeah. wow. As I will let. That's wow. a good wow. reason wow. for us to let. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My dear brother. <laughs> Mrs. Toye, can we see us answer your that, question? That, 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 Yes. <laughs> and that's why I'm in number two. In Africa, the riches, it's because of the oil. Number two, riches over in the Africa. Africa. Okay, that makes sense. Are you, People are asking yes. some questions. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure we can take them, but I can share one. Let me post that. It says, please, sir, ask KBAC. Yes. Did Odudua come from? I think I'll make that the last question. Then we'll get a word of advice. Yes. Since this is an history class, what yes. is your thought? According to Akishewa, Akishewa says, What is KBS system? Where did Odudua come from? Well, I don't know. This is the only sister of the two that will tell the whole world where their father comes from. Let's say that Shewa asked the child, the children of Odudua, the they tell the whole world where they come from. Akishewa, so Kamiyasi has answered you in the best way that he can. Kamiyasi, what is your advice to young people who are either watching now or who are going to watch this video later on YouTube? Because the goal is that all these interviews are going to form materials that people who are doing research about the traditional systems in Africa will be able to come and hear what yeah. and learn from. Can you see what, what is your advice and your comment to young people and researchers who are going to watch this video and who are watching it now? Yeah, they are welcome. I want to see them in my domain because I still have more, more far to tell them. I have a lot of books mm -hmm. to show them. I have a lot of things, material to show them that this is the the truth, because in this book I put it there that I have a two thousand authority mm. to back my claim. That's why everybody was trying to shy away from me. I have Kabe, two thousand so what is the, authority. What is the tourism opportunity and potential in Ubo? For example, like some of our viewers, if they wanted to come and you know have a trip to come and see what is in Ubo, what are the Tourism opportunities there. Where are the sites there? Uh, let, 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 let me go. It's a straightforward play. When you leave Lagos, you pass through the border, the border to on a, on a price ride to go in about 30 minutes. Just tell me, mm. yeah, you are coming to the time. I will wait for you because you know I'm a businessman. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> I <can travel> here. <laughs> you know, because of this. Uh, COVID now. COVID. I will be in US. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Uh, I, I think after COVID, we'll arrange an holiday visit for some young leaders to come and see Ubo. So, just let me know. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Kabi yeah, well, Ladies, well, Ladies and gentlemen, yes. we have been speaking to His Royal Majesty. Oba Akiruto, the chairman of Obat Oil, founder, and above all, the Olugbo of Ubo Kingdom. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Thank you so much, sir. I'm sure that look for the and say, this is nice. Guys, I'm sure that after COVID, we will have a, hopefully doing one of my leaves or holiday, we would have a tour of Southwest Nigeria and go and visit all the towns. And KBSC has said it will host us in Ubu. We will come there and go and see the culture. Yeah. It's not just going to Dubai, going to Dubai, yeah. going to Dubai. Let's also go inward. Let's understand our identity, our yeah. source where we have come from, our culture. Because when we know the power in our culture, we will be able, as, as young people, to be proud of where we have come from. We will be proud of our heritage, that we're not just anybody. 
We are either on show, we are either on do, we are either ubos, whatever it is, we will be proud that we are Yoruba people when we know how rich our identity is. Guys, please join me to say a big thank you to the KBSC, the Olugbo of Ubo for his time, his support, his wisdom, and for you know mentoring us tonight and telling us the history and the journey of the Ubo people, which are very important people and one of the richest community in southwest nigeria blessed abundantly with oil than every other region uh, or communities in nigeria and we look forward to going to see the uh, the great achievements in Ubu by the grace of the almighty thank you so much kabisi thank you Otumba yeko thank you Otumba Sheson for all that man. Thank you, Mr. Lawale Olandejo, and everybody who have made uh, uh, every logistics around KBAC possible. And thank you, Baba, for your time. We are very grateful, and we look forward to another time with you learning by the grace of God. Mo Yakinton says, God bless you, Olubo, the Okoro Ajigon one. Olu Fala De Falano says, you should do this again. I'm sure that KBAC. Wow. <laughs> We will have a physical session where we can learn. Uh, Olupola also yeah. says, thank you, your, your HRM, KBSC, Olubo of Igbo. Yeah. We have so many comments, but we can't take